Welcome, this is Test Prep Central, and I just wanted to show you one problem on the geometry test for LEAP. Uh, even if you're not in Louisiana, and if you're teaching geometry to your students, I promise you this could be of value to you. Uh, so please pay attention because these are things you can do in your Desmos graphing calculator to teach concepts related to transformations of geometric figures. So in this problem, we have a triangle and we're given the vertices in the coordinate plane. And uh, we're told to reflect it over the x-axis and then rotate it. Um, now, we're not going to use any special tool to do that, but we are going to actually graph these triangles so that we can look at them and make sense of them by using the Desmos calculator. So the first thing you want to do is type the word polygon and then open parentheses and then open parentheses again and type in uh, the point A. So we're doing A, B, and C in here. So we'll start with 1, 2 close parentheses, put a comma, open parentheses, and then let's type B, and then close parentheses, put a comma, and then open parentheses, and then let's do C. All right, and you will notice right away it has created this nice little triangle for us. If you want to zoom in a little bit to make it look better, not necessary, but there you go. All right, now this is the cool part. You may notice these numbers are pretty similar, so if you click this gear, then next to it, this little duplicate thing will pop up. Click that, and it will duplicate it. Uh, the only problem is, is it doesn't change this color. So we do want this to look different. I'm going to press and hold and make this some different color. Let's just make it blue. All right, so let's change this polygon to match answer choice A. And so it's 1, negative 2, so we'll make that one negative, 4, negative 6, and for negative two. So is this the correct answer? Well, I don't think so. It says that the triangle is reflected over the x-axis, which this is, and then rotated 180 degrees. Well, 180 degrees would put it in the second quadrant. It would not be in the fourth quadrant. So this one cannot be correct. But I don't want to lose that one because I may want to look at it again because that's the reflection over the x-axis. So I'm just going to turn it off and then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to copy this. Let's copy this one. You can highlight it, control C, and then you can paste it. Or you can use the gear and use the copy again if you'd like. That works as well. All right, I'm on answer choice B now. I want both of these to be negative. So let's make everything negative. All the points are now negative. Let me move this out. Okay. All right, so I've made everything negative. So the question is, is that going to work? Well, that is rotated 180 degrees, but it's like they skipped a step because they were supposed to reflect it over the x-axis and then rotate it 180 degrees. So this one is not going to work, and I'm also not going to save this one because I don't need that one. Um, so this one, I'm keeping it because I may want to look at that again, but this one, I do not. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, change the numbers here to match answer choice C. And this one has a positive 2, a positive 6, and a positive 2. All right, so the question is, let me turn this one back on. If I reflect this over the x-axis, it would be in the fourth quadrant. If I were to rotate it 180 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise, doesn't matter, it should end up exactly where this one is. So this one is not our answer, but this one is. So C was the correct answer. So hopefully this one problem has helped you. Uh, if you're taking your geometry end of course exam, there is another problem in this test actually where you could use this to help you. I do encourage you to play with polygons. They're a great visual and a good way to figure out the answer to these types of questions. Y'all have a great day.